Grounding is one of the most important things empaths need to learn in order to control their emotions and protect themselves. For empaths and sensitives in these trying times, it is a challenge for us to stay grounded as we are constantly being bombarded with a real mix of negative external emotions. Empaths can't help being understanding, giving, and more aware. It comes naturally for them to feel everything, even if they don't want to. An empath will always be there for you, a shoulder to cry on, a confidant, but this is also incredibly draining for them as they find it hard to say no. Six important grounding tips for empaths and highly sensitive people. If you are an empath and looking for ways to cope, here are some grounding tips to help you control your gift and not resent it. Number six, creating a shield. As an empath, it is important to protect yourself. This is an exercise you should do as often as possible. Visualize a shield of energy around your physical body. Choosing a specific color may help. And then imagine a flowing, moving, and energetic protective layer around you. You are not trying to lock yourself into a box, so keep your shield flexible and only allow what you want in. Once your shield is in place, visualize that the center of your being is a little light. Focus on this internal light or fire. Every one of your senses, be aware of your thoughts, feelings, emotions. After trying this alone, try practicing it when around others. Try switching your awareness from your outside environment back to yourself, your flame, and then back again. Take note of how each feels different. Number five, quiet time. Take many small breaks throughout the day. You need that fresh air and a good walk and a stretch. These breaks will help reduce the excessive stimulation of being around people. Number four, meditate daily. More than anyone, you need to stay grounded and centered. Practice guerrilla meditation. To counter emotional overload, act fast and meditate for a few minutes. This centers your energy so you don't take it on from others. Number three, smudging. Smudging yourself is good, whether you are an empath or not. Smudging yourself and your home and even place of work regularly will get rid of other people's energy and their influence around you. Sage, copal, frankincense, nag shampa, and palo santo are all recommended. Number two, say no and set boundaries. Saying no can be very difficult for an empath, but it's incredibly important that you do say no when someone asks too much of you. You don't have to explain it to them, just be polite and firm. If you feel overwhelmed in crowded situations, eating a high protein meal can help and stay as far out of the crowd as possible not right in the middle. Don't feel like you have to say yes to your friends either. If you don't feel like going out, or if you want to leave early, don't feel bad about it. Number one, find an energy practitioner. Find someone you feel comfortable with. Each energy practitioner has his or her own set of unique skills and talents so you have to look around for what it is that your particular energy needs. Understand that you may need to change practitioners as your needs change. You need to learn to recognize when you have grown and developed and are in need of a change.